And welcome back, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for part two of our sub battle Saturday stream today. Uh, so far, I've taken an early lead on team chat. Uh, we did a poll at that the end of that last controversial game that we just had, and chat wanted me to put it up as a win for myself. So I am up five to one right now. Um, basically how this works is I'm going to be playing uh, against subscribers all day today, breaking up the video so it's not just a seven hour stream. Um, if you didn't check out part one, hope you go click on over there and check out part one as well. I describe what we're doing here a little better. Um, but we already, we already know next up is going to be Campfire Studios. Uh, for myself, I spin a wheel each time to see what deck I am going to be playing. So let's go ahead and spin this wheel, see what I'm playing. So I'm playing a different deck every single um, every single match. And it looks like I got Golgari Stompy here. So yeah, I'm playing a different deck every match. Twitch chat is bringing their unique decks each match. And it's just a good, fun Saturday. So all right, we got Golgari Stompy. Where are you at, Golgari Stompy? There you are. So this is a Knight of the Ebon Legion, Rotting Regisaur, Steel Leaf Champion, Vivian Arcbow Ranger. You know, like we are stomping here. This is what our deck's all about. Play big creatures and attack. All right, here we go. Whoa, 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 what is this? I just actually just played a match? Okay, no, never mind, never mind. Okay. I thought I, that went so fast, and there was it didn't have the, it didn't have the, the screen of, like, you know, who you're playing against, that I thought I just, like, joined, like, a rank match or something. Oh, yeah, I have to, yeah, the... The I really wish they had a lot more space to hold decks. Like, I you know I have like I'm always at the max. Like there's 60, 60 max. I'm always at the max. Um, I looked at it like two weeks ago, even something. And since M twenty released for the you know I looked at like the the different thumbnails we that we had made for the YouTube channel. So how many different decks was I playing? We had like even this is as of like two weeks ago. We had played like 125 different decks since M20 released. And so, yeah, I mean, 60 is not, it's not enough <laughs> spots. I have to keep on deleting everything and I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. All right, so this looks like this is Simic Flash. That would be my guess here. And now that we're going to have more formats with Historic and Brawl, there's really not enough room for decks. I really hope they expand the room that you can have for decks on here. <laughs> hey, thank you so much, Sloth. Thanks for the bits. Rotations on Thursday. Cheers. All right, so tapped out opponent. I get to resolve Vivian. With the arc bow at my side, I can't lose a fight. Get him. Chomp up that thing. And now we just don't need to play anything anymore. We're just going to put counters on Barkhide, and Barkhide is going to be um, hexproof. I guess I could keep I could have just kept that in my hand. I should have kept that in my hand. Cuz if if we do get to play Rotting Regisaur, we now have we have to discard Chupacabra instead of discarding that temple. All right, so I made a mistake this there. This will be fun to watch.
And you know what? Let's play Rotting Regisaur, actually. Because now you'll come to think of it, if I just if I just pass and I don't play something, then Campfire can just play the cut play another Cutthroat and then have Cutthroat kill Vivian. Now Vivian's up to three loyalty. We're fit enough to survive. <clears throat> Vivian gives trample. Yeah, Vivian just won this game. Vivian just won this game. I don't have Vela Summers. That can be a little rough. I got some pretty good removal spells, though, in general. I don't really want Ripjaw. I'm not sure if I want Rotting Regisaur. I probably do. Maybe not. Discarding your cards is... Not really a great thing. All right, so I gotta get rid of nine cards. Galt is gone because we can only play Galta if we have a bunch of other stuff in play already. All right, so eight cards. So do I really need three Chupacabras? Like maybe not. Do I want the red? Do I want the Regisaurs? Do I want the trophies? Do you like trophy destroying like the wolf? The wolf can be a problem. How am I doing on creatures right now? I'm at 29, so if I just cut 8 creatures, that means I don't really have enough for Vivian Champion of Wild. So i got to cut some spells. I'm going to cut one Trophy, one Arcbow Ranger. Just one Arcbow Ranger, not two. Give me back an Arcbow Ranger. We're going to cut a Choop. Paradise Druid. Uh, I'm going to get rid of those. I'm going to just split the difference. Two Barkhide, two Regisaur. The only X ones that they're really that they're playing are just the the Spectral Sailors. The the other creature grows out of X1 range immediately. Uh no, I don't I don't think Simic Flash is going to be that great in the new standard format. I think there's a lot of really good green cards in the new set. Green looks really good. And the more green there is, the more Veil of Summer there's going to be, which is really the card that's kind of that kind of killed Simic Flash to begin with. So now I could just resolve the Ceratops. If 
I kind of want to just resolve Vivian. Huh. How this thing goes is up to you. Starting over is the only way. Any idea of Cauldron's interaction with Narcomuba might make Demir Dredge competitive? Um, highly, highly, ah, highly doubtful. I'm a survivor. Uh, yeah, I don't. I... There's so many efficient answers <laughs> for Cauldron. Wine less than you. I don't like. I kind of like. I like um. I like Cauldron in in you know like a, a slower deck with like Cavalier of Thorns. Cavalier Thorn certainly looks like the real winner of Throne of Eldraine. It's just good with everything. Strike now. Strike hard. Field of the Dead is not the real winner. It's so okay. So obviously they have they have no they have no hate cards for Field of the Dead. That's that's a that is very good for Field of the Dead. But losing Elvish Rejuvenator really is big, and losing Nexus of Fate is really big. And Throne of Eldraine looks to be a pretty aggressive set. You know, like like Field of the Dead doesn't want to be playing against Questing Beast. You can still walk away. Yeah, GG's campfire. <clears throat> Good old magic. Just Campfire just had three lands game one. And now seven lands game two. But we see how good the Vivian has been against the Flash deck, you know, just forcing Yeah, you know, like playing the Flash game against Flash. It's pretty rough for them. Wait. You think nature is kind? Well, I was talking about Field of the Dead before, but yeah, it, it does look pretty aggressive overall as a as a set. Throne of Eldraine does. All right, GGs, campfire, GGs. All right, so if, let's get a new giveaway thing here. So um, if you want to be the next person to play, and if you are a subscriber, type the word battle into the chat. Yeah, sorry about that man of trouble there, campfire. Yeah. That's rough. All right, so yeah, looks like we got lots of people in there. You're still up. All right, you're still up a match on me all time.
Okay, looks like everybody got in there. Who's up? We got Chris. All right, Chris, send me that gamer tag. Yeah, I think mono green will, will definitely be a thing. Mono green looks pretty good, honestly. All right, I'm spinning this wheel, seeing what deck I'm going to be playing. So yeah, send me that gamer tag. Here's my gamer tag right here. Hey, what's up, puppy? Oh yeah, we got some fun sub battles going on today for sure. Ooh, this is a mean deck. Esper mean. All right, make sure you choose best of three. And we just played this deck yesterday. It's our top deck here. Yeah, Mono Green has a new three drop as Yorvo. Yorvo is just really big, but, you know, that's kind of all Steel Leaf was, was just really big also. Doesn't have, like, Trample or Evasion or anything like that, but, um, you know, Vivian is Vivian's just incredible. But yeah, they got Yorvo, of course, Questing Beast. Uh, two two good two drops with Skyfarin. Um, and uh, what's the other one? Wildborn Preserver. That card's awesome. I'm really curious to see how good one, Once Upon a Time is going to be. Like, how, it's, how good it's actually going to play out. You know, like, if, if, like, top decking once once upon a time or having you know like you know, if you're playing four of them what if you have like three of them in your hand kind of thing or if you're just like top decking them later you have to like keep spending two mana to i mean it's still it is just impulse i'm curious about that card Looks like Golgari reanimate. My hand is just incredible over here. My Bond of Insight does help turn on this Blood for Bones. I will take both of those cards. Thank you. And I got my engine going with Dovin's Acuity. The Great Henge is, is incredible. Uh, yeah, that card is really, really strong. Like, gaining two life keeps you alive. I think that's just a perfect card to go along with, like, your Nyssa Krasis decks. You know, Cavalier Thorns with that card is insane. Yeah, that card's really good. Campfire Studios, thank you so much. New subscribers, welcome to the channel, new subscribers. Thank you so much there, Campfire. Gifting out five subs. So Candy Candy Dude, Marias, uh, Kynum, Riveting, Sakrasta. Hope you all enjoy having the sub. I know Marias is all about that hype there. All right, that's a sub goal. So mortifying the the glow spore shaman on my turn or on their turn means I don't get to pick up my Dovin's Acuity. But it does just just let, let me just, you know, safely do this during my turn. I want to save the Contempt for the um this thing, Cavalier of Night. 
So two casualties of war over there. Yeah, five new battle opponents. Ooh, Loaming Shaman. That's cool. All right, I'll shuffle them back up. Okay, so we're going to see I want to get rid of the Loaming Shaman because of the Blood for Bones. It's I can't like keep my opponent off Blood for Bones forever though. Guess I can do it for another turn though. All right, got a second Blood for Bones in there. Two Blood for Bones in there. Probably not Kitty Dexterity. I've, um, I don't know. I've never been good at like thinking of like special things to do and hitting little benchmarks and like numbers, and, like view numbers and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so I don't, I don't know. I'm I'm always open to ideas. But I'm not very good at thinking of anything to do like that. All right, so taking the chup and grabbing the loaming shaman. That definitely makes sense to grab the Loaming Shaman back. They can shuffle all those cards back into the deck. That makes a lot of sense. Well, I should have just contempted the Loaming Shaman then. Because I didn't quite think about that. I'm just getting it back. <laughs> what kind of auto-tap was that? Three... Blue sources. So now I have to play Glacial Fortress instead of just playing Hallowed Fountain and Tapped. Yeah, Hawkeye has been camera shy. Oh, wow, I really am close to 2 million views. We're at 1.985. Yeah, we are really close. Where's he at? <laughs> yeah, he's curled up on the bed. I just saw him stretch. He was just, like, in his little ball stretching. There. So they have 16 cards in the graveyard. You can get all four blood for bones, put them back into the deck. I kind of need to find, you need to get, grab like Ashiok. <laughs> Do you need 24 hour Hawkeye cam? All right, so we're going to Kaya's Wrath. And then uh, 
insight. Yay. There we go. Found acquisition. Definitely need that card. And probably just take an opt back, honestly. All right, one blood for bones gone. So I think I'm going to like acquisition for Ashiok. They do have that blast zone over there. But I can Acquisition and Ashiok and Dispark for the Cavalier of Night. Ooh. Hey, what's up, CD? Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. So the reason why I didn't pay two to to cast Opt the previous turn is because then you know we, we would have been able to pick up Dovin's Acuity, but that would have been my eighth card in hand, so I would have had to discard. And we're at thirty. We got time. I didn't want to discard. This. Yeah, we can play it here now because now this will put us back up to seven cards in hand. Uh, I don't really need you. So I'm at ten mana, so I'm two mana short of fin of blue finale for ten. All right, two Loaming Shamans are gone, and one Blood for Bones. <laughs> oh, oh, that's sub sub number thirteen. I'm one behind. To discard Akaya's Wrath. Yeah, I don't know why Ashiok is so loud. This looks pretty tough for Chris here. We're down to 22 cards. This looks like a really tough matchup for my opponent. So 
So yeah, Ash Ashiok is actually not male or female. You must be quelled. I remember that from uh like the first Ashiok. Remember that being a big deal. All right, so we get finale. Let's go ahead and cash in this Ashiok. So we put Ashiok in the um, graveyard so we can shuffle, shuffle it back. All right, and it's egg time. So egg time. Draw 10. Untap five lands. We have no maximum hand size anymore. So it's like, well, it's just anything we want to do. We're going to go grab a new Ashiok from the, the sideboard. Chris is down to 18 cards. I got 29 again now. All right, Cavalier Knight is in there. Blue finale is so ridiculous. Just look at look at how obnoxious this is. Look at our hand. Completely obnoxious. Yeah, Chris has done a pretty bad draw job drawn here. Back up, Ashiok. Down to 13 cards. I guess I could also just kill this Stitcher Supplier, and that's another three cards gone. So I guess that's something I could do. Yeah, this would be a good Magic Mirror deck. No, there's no Kaya in this deck at all. No Kaya at all. Um, so the Ashoks look pretty important. So I guess I want to main deck them. Maybe I just cut Legion's End. So like a Golgari Queen as far as Planeswalkers go. Let's try this. Yeah, I guess we could Ego Blood for Bones. 
It's not really too slow. This is a very slow matchup. Blood for Bones is the card that I was the most scared of that we saw. Um, no, I don't. I don't think this deck should have main deck ego. You only need Unmoored Ego against just a couple of decks. You don't want it against the majority of decks. Hmm. I wouldn't usually shock for opt but we have two ops. Um, yeah, I'm just going for it here. No key, I'm not. Mm, sure. So the Kaya's Wrath, of course, could be really good, but if it is, we could acquisition for, we could acquisition back for it if it does turn out that we need it. Yeah, I'm I I'm like I like Mono Red Chandra after rotation. I think it could line up really well against knights. Um the the thing that I'm worried about with Mono Red with a uh, Chandra Tribal. The thing I'm worried about with Chandra Tribal is Maybe I should keep up opt. The thing I'm worried about is uh the green decks. You know, like dealing with like questing beasts like Questing Beast is such a beating because, you know, if you if you tap out, play a Planeswalker, they just four haste damage, hit you, and then also do four damage to your Planeswalker. The card's just such a beating. So I'm worried about that. Yeah, so basically, uh, let's see, this is how... There you go. That's that's how like the sub battle uh, goes. <laughs> Thanks, follow. Oh, what a trophy! I only have the one basic, and it's in my hand. What a good trophy there. So yeah, basically I do a, a random, uh, I do like a, a giveaway style basically after every single round to see who plays against me next. So while there's no creatures in their graveyard right now, whenever we Kaya's Wrath, all the creatures go into play, or go, sorry, go to the graveyard at the same time, and then the Cavalier of Night triggers, so Glowspore Shaman could come right back. You know, or Land War Elf.
Maybe I should have just contempted last turn and then acquis acquisitioned. Yeah, mono black is definitely going to be a thing. I like I like mono black. You know, it's it's going to be more mid range than like the control that I've been playing. Um, but yeah, black and green. To me, I think black and green are the two strongest colors in Eldraine. Yeah, Jade Soldier. It's basically it's for yeah. So playing against ju just playing against subscribers. But this is how it works, basically. Um, but yeah, I all you gotta do is just be a subscriber, be here after a match, and I do like a little giveaway. You just gotta type the word battle into chat. So shuffled those back in. Oh, why would you tap every single white source? What are you doing, auto tap? Yeah, the the gingerbread sleeves are from uh, the the Throne of Eldraine pre-order. So you have to do the the fifty dollar for fifty packs pre-order. Uh, you gotta do that by Thursday, and then you get these sleeves, and you get the Garouk. Um, you get the Garouk card style as well. I have eight, so I'll have nine mana. Alright, so we'll double Mastermind's acquisition. I'm gonna grab I just have this veto in my hand. No, no, I no, no, no XH point deck commands today because I'm switching, you know, I'm, I'm switching decks all the time. Like every single match, I'm playing a new deck, and so, uh, it's just kind of too much of a hassle to update that each time. Twenty nine cards. All right, whatever. I don't even want that card, but I'll just discard it because we're going to have to discard a couple of cards. <sighs> um, <laughs> I guess I'm just discarding Cleansing Nova. Yeah, we're doing our set review full detail tomorrow, starting 1 p.m. Eastern. 
So like tomorrow, except for five and a half hours ago. All right, time to gain life again. I I did for years tech docs, but I don't really anymore. This is my full-time job is streaming every single day, so I don't really have time to play Paper Magic as well. So the card I want to find is the blue finale. I have the acquisition that gets to go find the blue finale though also. Is this thing just ETBs, you mill four, then gain some life. Yeah, we just have so much life now. Do need to keep hitting land drops. Do you want a land drop here? Yay, land drop. Basically can't really take all of these acuities. We'd have to just discard cards. No, I only have there's only one basic in the deck and it's in play. All right, down to 20 cards over there. Nah, that was an awful, awful matchup for Chris. That was, that was a nightmare for Chris's deck. Sorry about that, Chris, GG's. If I had to like spin the wheel at like all 47 decks on here, what was like the one, what was like the worst possible hit for Chris to see? It was that deck. Yeah, and you did, you, yeah, you drew really bad with all those lands too. Sorry about that, Chris. All right, so let's see who we're going to be playing against next. Um, so if you are a subscriber and you want to play it next, type the word battle into the chat, just like all those other people are currently doing right now. Um, and, uh, yeah, and then we'll, we'll see who gets it up next. So yeah, it's time. So it's for, for subscribers. Team chat. Gotta bring the heat. I've been drawn well today. All right, is everybody in there? <laughs> All right, let's see who is up next. DK. DK, you are up.
All right, DK, send me that gamer tag. I'm gonna spin the wheel here. See what deck I'm playing up next. Oh, and then uh, there's my gamer tag also if you don't have it. What do I got? Sultai Dreams. This is an old school deck here. I saw it just in my deck list, my list of decks. I don't even know if this has any M20 cards. Like, I don't even know if this was after M20 or not, honestly. Okay, yeah, it was after M20. So this is Drawn from Dreams. Drawn from Dreams, Kefnet, Tamiyo, Control. Oh, right. Obviously it has M20 because Dreams is... M20. We just played this a long time ago, is basically what I'm saying. Here we go. Yeah, Sultai Control. <laughs> yeah, on we'll we'll be spending that gold on Thursday, buying lots of packs. So yeah, that gold will be going down on Thursday. Any hand with turn two as Kant is a good one. The exact same. Uh, I get the exact same from Twitch Prime or a regular sub. Ooh. Mountain. Okay, Phoenix. Phoenix is a problem. I don't have... Let's see if we can take something else out over here. Some card draw or something. Ugh. It's just a radical idea. I don't have any exile removal in hand, as you can tell. Hey, what's up, Key? And Wanderer, hey, what's up? Happy six months. Six months of hype. Wow, where are the lands? There's the land. And Wanderer getting that Twitch Prime sub as well. Thanks, Wanderer. Alright, so that bumps us up to 15. Need to update that. So let's go... Shock Kefnet. I don't even really know what I, like, I'm looking for with Tamiyo, honestly. It does turn on their red removal spells that could get back Phoenix. It's, so this could potentially be a bad move playing the Kefnet. Ah, uh, thanks, Wanderer. I, would like to I know I have like a cry of the Carnarium. You have experience. Oh, I guess it tells you the cards in your deck when you tick up. That's really convenient. I know, I so yeah, there's a Cry of the Carnarium. Narset's usually really good in this matchup. I wish I could unmoor Digo. Say Narset. Oh, Drawn from Dreams, that's a pretty good one. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. Uh, 
we're going to one mana discovery. I'm just going to keep him there. I know Tamio doesn't really do that much for me. right now. But Tamiya's a good value card. Let me aid your research. And it give, gives me a plus that I know I'm hitting. This is Sultai Dreams. This is like a Sultai control, for like drawn from dreams and everything like that. I think you will find my notes helpful. I do need to win the game before I mill out, also. Which I guess that could be a problem. I haven't played this deck in a long time. Yeah, just give me the land. Follow the tracks of the wise. Yeah, get rid of those spells. I'm gonna just take the four four. I can Tamio and get back. Um, Get that card back again this next turn. Make it make it an 8-8. Eight, eight. Uh, how does our deck win? Just attacking with Kefnet and a 4-4 four, four into the God Eternal. How many spells do they have in the graveyard? It doesn't tell me. I have to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seek and find. So basically, enough. If I cast another Enter the God Eternals. Arena does not like my deck here. My computer doesn't. Yeah, I don't really want to mill my own deck, though. I know milling their deck with Phoenixes is a little bit risky, but... Also, if, if I do mill over a bunch of Phoenix and they bring back, you know, like, a bunch of Phoenixes and then I cry out of the Carnarium, could be nice. It doesn't, I don't know, I'm, I, it doesn't tell me. All right, there, yeah, so, that did eight damage. Oh, yeah, ah, I wanted to activate Ascanta first. I missed that. I meant to do that. I don't really need that Kefnet. I can go to the bottom. We'll find it again. No big deal. The past 
present and future are bound by threads of time. The storied past holds our future. So we're gonna keep hitting land drops. We got plenty of cards. I don't need to I don't need to minus Narset and let them lightning strike to kill Narset. Narset just chilling on the battlefield is pretty devastating to my opponent. You know, the deck that's playing all these charter courses and radical ideas and stuff like that. All right, so what else do I got? I got, oh, I only had one Cry of the Carnarium. Okay, so now we have two Cry of the Carnariums. <laughs> we only had one before. I don't hate duress or negate. Yeah, sorry, DK. Just drew land. Good call there, Android. Good call. Let's cut those ritual of sets. So now it's like, do I want stroke, negate, duress? I think these three are like the next three cards to maybe play. Do I want those over, like, Casualties of War, Ugin? You know, some expensive cards like that. Um, Got to be worried about, like, Planeswalkers from their side. After sideboarding here. I don't hate Moment of Craving. I'm going to play a Negate over whatever card I just cut. Tyrant Scorn. No, Tyrant Scorn can help out just, you know, like bouncing, you know, a huge Drake or just a Phoenix that's coming back AC. And then, you know, like the the bounce plus Thought Erasure combo can happen. And then also uh, DK has Electromancer. So, you know, it is a removal spell for Electromancer as well. So it's, it's useful. It's not a, it's not a dead card, but... I'll take the negate over it. Phoenix on five is kind of tough because you do want a lot of spells with the Phoenix deck. Those are good cards. I'm taking Thought Erasure first before Narset because if for some reason they make me discard a card, I don't know how they would, but if they do, I'd rather have the Thought Erasure in hand. So we didn't really need the <laughs> Thought Erasure too much there. So they need it. Radical Idea Way Phoenix. Oh, keeping Phoenix. But hit Charter Course. And then Charter Course hit Shock. I guess I would negate Charter Course anyway.
Okay, two ops. Close to getting back the Phoenix. Got another spell. Nope, got a creature. Ow. Alright, so we're just going to exile the one Phoenix. For now. Of course, I'm playing four Tamios, so I can uh, look for Tamio with Drawn from Dreams, Narset, Ascanta, stuff like that. Man, Twitch chat is getting some really bad luck today. Man, I'm sorry, DK. Yeah, that's... You know, have to mulligan to five and then just have all those lands. That's two matches in a row of y'all getting some really, really bad hands. Sorry about that, DK. GG's. Okay. Someone's got to break this. Someone's got to get some good luck. So if you're a subscriber, you want to play up next, type that word battle in the chat just like the other people are doing right now. Joshi, thank you so much there for that resub there, Joshi. Excited for Throne of Eldraine? I'm excited for a magic set that is separate from the Gatewatch. That is true. There's still three Planeswalkers in the set, but they're... Garouk's not new, but the other two. We got new, new Planeswalkers. <laughs> and... Uh... Yeah, I'm excited for Eldraine. It looks like a pretty sweet set. New formats and rotation and everything's always fun. Always excited for it. All right, looks like we got lots of people in here. Everybody in? Last couple of seconds. Okay, let's see who's up next. TI 98. Yeah, that's true. The Royal Scions had two separate Planeswalker cards. Yeah. But they're new for standard. They were never in standard, though, right? As far as I know. So new for like regular printing. Welcome. TI-98. Okay, you need to go. Okay, you need to go next. Okay. All right. We'll see who is. All right, now it's Debo4. Yep, sure can. All right, Debo4. Make sure you're, you're here, Debo. Debo, are you here? <laughs> All right, sweet. Okay, cool. Got two people in a row. I said, Debo, please bring us honor. <laughs> All right, I'm spinning the wheel, see what I got. Bant Ramp. Bant Ramp. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna do like the reset and everything and, and end part two after this match as well. Where's Bant Bant Ramp? There it is. Okay, so yeah, this is just like Simic, Nexus, Ramp Game 1, has white for sideboard. Got all of our white cards in the sideboard. Game 1, just Simic Ramp. That's what our deck's all about. 
and let's go. Um, I lost to to like a Sultai treachery field of the dead command the dread horde deck like that we did it was a best of one match um where we, where we didn't do sideboarding i was on jund planeswalkers that was the the match i lost there All right, here we go. I like that I have this temple. I'll make sure we get this third land. Paradise Druid is basically third land. Is Debo bringing vampires? Or mono white aggro. I like that planes. I like the sleeves. All right, vampires. Well, I got lucky to hit that land. I got to get lucky and hit one more land. I like my chances. If I do. If we, if Paradise Druid doesn't die here and we draw land. Hmm, maybe I don't like my chances. Maybe I'm just going to be dead. Alright, looks like I'm just dead. One card down. So if I get land the next turn, I'll at least be able to use Paradise Druid as a blocker. Won't have to be able to. Won't have to tap it. So that's game. That's a really good. It's a really good hand. One drop, Legion Lieutenant, Soren into Champion, and then Sanctum Seeker. That's pretty decent. Maybe even. Maybe even average. I was not able to turn four Cavalier Thorns, even with a Paradise Druid, because I missed my land drop. Hmm. We're taking out Nyssa. I could be wrong. Um, Ritual of Soot. 
this other four mana, if you own a four mana sweeper, Ritual of Soot. Uh, the new set has um, Witch's Vengeance. You still have Deafening Clarion. You got Cry of the Carnarium. Which is Vengeance is minus three, minus three to all creatures of a creature type of your choosing. Um, it's possible that Solar Blaze is going to be more valuable. with this next set. I'm not sure if it will be or not, but it's possible. The pre-order stops like Wednesday. You know, like the, the day before the set releases or basically right, right before the set release. Well, I ramped a whole lot better this game. We'll see if we start drawing Cavalier Thorns or not. I march into battle as your champion of justice. I will lend you my strength. Still one drop, two drop, three drop for them. But... I fought worse. Better one drop, two drop, three drop for me to see. Um, yeah, I like. So is it a tempo deck? I believe in you, friend. Um, I guess for a tempo deck would be Simic Flash probably. That's the one that comes to mind. Hawkeye's here. Yeah, Hawkeye. Finally joined the stream today. You're late. Hey, finally Cavalier Thorns. Cavalier dies, you go get back Hydroid Krasis. Right now we got Krasis for seven. Your light will cleave the darkness.
So yes, I could have uh, blocked the knight with cavalier to go grab Krasis, but honestly, we're not winning with Krasis. Like, Krasis isn't good enough from here. So I'm keeping cavalier alive. There we go. That was a good turn. Okay. We're still alive for a minute. Kashi, what's up? Doing good? Doing good? Thank you so much for that resub. Share in my light. Three land wars are already dead. I need to draw it. I don't know, something. Like. My sword is your end. Just four land, like perfect four lands. And just all gas. Makes up for the last two matches where chat had nothing. GG's there, Debo. GG's. All right. Twitch chat. Uh, Hawkeye showed up. Twitch chat picked up a win. So here we go. Team chat's coming, coming back. Get one more. Be on a winning streak. So... Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, that's the end of part two here for our sub battle stream. Hope you check out part three here that we're going to start here in just a minute. So click on over there to part three. Thanks for watching.